Chapter 3 A Bad Day Becky was sick and didn't go to school for many days. Tom was very sad. One morning, he said to Aunt Polly, I'm very sick and I want to stay home from school. Aunt Polly said, Here is some medicine. Take this and you can get well quickly. But Tom didn't like the medicine. Peter, the cat, came into the room and looked at Tom. Peter, Tom said, have some medicine. Peter had some medicine. He didn't like it. He went quickly out the open window and into the yard. Aunt Polly watched Peter. Why did you do that, Tom? She asked angrily. You're a very bad boy. Go to school now. Tom arrived at school early and he waited for Becky at the school fence. She arrived early too, but she didn't look at Tom. She went into school. Tom walked away. He didn't want to go to school now. He was very sad. Joe Harper was near the school. He was sad too, because his mother was angry with him. The two boys walked and talked. Tom said, let's run away. Yes, let's, Joe said. The two boys went to the river. Hack Finn was there. Tom and Joe said, We are going to run away. Do you want to come with us? Yes, Hack answered. Let's go across the river. We can have a good adventure there. The boys went home because they wanted to get food for their adventure. Chapter 4 Chapter 4 Across the River Tom, Joe, and Hack went to the river. There was a small boat there. The boys went across the river and the small boat. They said, This is a good place because we can play all day. There is no school here. They played and then went to sleep. In the morning, the boys were happy again. They said, let's stay here for a long time. In the afternoon, they played near the river again. Suddenly, there was a noise from a big boat on the river. The boys stopped playing and watched the boat. Listen, Tom said. The men on the boat are talking about us. The boys listened quietly. A man said, The boys are in the river. They are dead. Tom said, Those men are looking for us in the river. We are here. But they don't know that. That night, the boys were sad. Hack and Joe went to sleep, but Tom didn't sleep. He went home in the small boat. He quietly went in his bedroom window. Then he went under his bed and stayed there. Aunt Polly and her friends came into his room. Aunt Polly said to her friends, Tom was a good boy and I loved him. Now he is dead and I'm very sad. Tom wanted to say, 
I'm not dead, but he stayed quiet. Aunt Polly went to sleep. Tom went out the window very quietly and went back across the river. In the morning, Joe and Huck said, We are not happy here now. We want to go home. Tom said, Let's go home on Sunday. We can go to the church. People are going to be very surprised. Sunday morning, many children were at church. They talked about the three boys. They were sad because their friends were dead. Becky was sad too. Suddenly, the three boys walked into the church. People were very surprised. But they were very happy too. Chapter 5 At School Monday morning, Tom went to school. The children wanted to hear about his adventure, and Tom liked talking about it. Becky wanted to talk to Tom, but he didn't look at her. Then Tom talked to Amy. Becky watched him and she was angry. She said to her friends, I'm going to have an adventure day. You can come on my adventure. But she didn't ask Tom. Later in the morning, Tom talked to Amy again. Becky talked to her friend Alfred and looked at a picture book with him. Tom watched them and he was angry with Becky. In the afternoon, Tom waited for Becky at the school fence. He said, I'm sorry, but Becky didn't listen to him. She walked into the school room. The teacher's new book was on his table. This book wasn't for children, but Becky wanted to look at it. She opened the book quietly and looked at the pictures. Suddenly, Tom came into the room. Becky was surprised. She closed the book quickly and it tore. Becky was angry with Tom and quickly went out of the room. Then their children and the teacher came into the room and went to their places. The teacher looked at his book. Who did this? Who tore my book? He asked angrily. The room was very quiet. The teacher started to ask every child, Did you do this? They answered, No, I didn't. Then he looked at Becky. Becky, did you do this? Tom wanted to help her. Suddenly he said, I did it. I tore your book. Tom Sawyer, you are a very bad boy. Stay here after school. The teacher said angrily. At five o'clock, Tom started to walk home. Becky waited for him at the school fence. You are a very good friend, she said. Tom smiled at her and they walked home. 